will destroy every last box troll in this town. Never seen one do that before. The box troll. The most difficult sequence was the one that me and Graham weren't aware was going to be difficult. <laughs> you know, we, we believed that the big uh, mecha drill attack at the end in the market square would involve the most effects and the most difficult animation, but in fact, the dance sequence was by far the most difficult sequence to do. It right. took all of the 18 months of production that we had, and in the end, it was probably less than two minutes long. Just uh, every yeah. single department had yeah. to I mean, stretch we... themselves. When we make the film, we, we have what we call breakdown meetings, and uh, that's where we take the sequence, and all the heads of department are there, and everybody divvies up the workload, and we figure out shot by shot what we're going to do. And usually those meetings are, you know, everybody's, the energy's up, everybody's talking, everybody's trying to figure things out, and, you know, it's an eager bunch of folks that want to make this stop-motion movie. But when we had the breakdown meeting for the dance sequence, we Tony and I walked into the room, and it was dead silent. Nobody said anything. No one would even make eye contact with us. Um, I think we felt like we'd finally maybe pushed a little too far past the envelope. The, the, the puppets are like little vampires. They, they suck the life out of anyone that touches them. Uh, any bit of life you see on screen has got to come from somewhere, and it's not a void. It's like you, the, the animator's got to put the life into the puppet. It's, it's you know, uh, we see ourselves as actors, but instead of acting with our bodies and our voices, we're acting through another object. And so you've got to try to find ways to make these things feel real. You draw, just like anybody, they draw, you draw inspiration from your life, from your experiences, from your imagination. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's trying to make these things feel like real, living, breathing things that you can have an emotional connection with is very tricky to not make them feel like a doll. You still have to hit your marks. It's kind of a mathematical thing. It's almost like a chess game trying to figure out where these things need to be at any given time, keeping it all in your head over, you know, 100 to 300 frame shot, whatever it happens to be. But it can't feel mechanical. It can't feel like you're just moving these things around. It has to feel like it's alive. And so it's a really tricky thing, but, you know, fortunately... The, the crew that we've had, which we essentially kept the band together for the three films that we've done, everybody has just innovated in every single department. We make the best puppets in the world. We have the most incredible lighting and camera teams, the best costume makers in the world. The costumes are almost like puppets in and of themselves. They have to be designed, but then they also have to have their own armatures in them so they can move the way you want them to move, so they can drape how they should. And it's all artificial. You're trying to make this stuff feel and, 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 and come across as it's a real thing. This is a real place when, in fact, they're just little dolls and so it's a very tricky thing but uh but you know i think it i think it works out okay you know uh, and, and there's a little bit of a back and forth there's the sequence where we first see snatcher walking down the stairs in the factory where he lives that was one of an early sequences we had done and when he comes down the stairs he he's wiping his face with the towel and then he throws the hair over his ear and when jason stallman did that sequence we liked it we thought it was really great and when i showed it to sir ben we had been having an awkward recording session, and I, and I, you know, he's Sir Ben, so I figured, you know, he knows he does good work, but I hadn't told him we liked the first recording session that much, and when he saw that, he, that was the moment he said that he understood that we understood what he was trying to do. It's just that, that grotesque, greasy, horrible man doing this just gesture <laughs> over his ear. It was, he goes, I got it, and I trusted that you guys got what I was doing, and we got, and it was all great, and we're happy. And then every animator after that was doing, <laughs> we had to stop, stop doing it yeah, too it's much. It's kind of Pantene ad, guys. <laughs> <laughs>